Hey, what's going on guys? Hope that one will be fine. So welcome back to another Laravel tutorial. So in this video, I'm going to explain you that we, how we can create a new user dynamically as well as we have the model here. We have a nice total number of users that we have. It will count the number of rows. So right now we have only one row. So it will only have one here. All right. And we can also print using this option. So we can print this in PDF format and we can download it already. All right, so just first I want to show you to add a new user here. So I click on this model and let's suppose I want to add up here um, Zohaib, Saad, Zohaib at the rate gmail.com and the contact number will be anything. All right, so once I click on the save button, you see the model disappeared and now we have total number of users I two without any page refreshing all right so that's the that's the two major parts and all right so once you click on this button and you see it will download the users.pdf and if i just go to my directory let's suppose if i want to go to my uh, c zamp hd docs and uh, the name of my folder is pdf so pdf underscore laravel and go to your public and you see there is no any storage folder in order to create a storage folder all, all you need to do is to go php artisan storage link so once you type this php artisan storage link that will create a folder in in your public directory so if i go back to here you see now we have a storage folder inside the storage you see there's a folder with the name of users and there we go so this is our users.pdf if i just try to click on this and you see that we have two lists so i also created this layout so you guys can see it so you see we have the first name last name email and the phone so we can also download our pdf in and save in into our folder all right so that's really much it guys and that's what we are going to create and i want to see you in the coding section all right guys so welcome back and uh, there you see we i have already downloaded this uh, whole project from my github and you can see and you can download this whole code from the link given in the description so this is these are the very basic directories for the laravel so first thing i want to go inside my resources views and this is the folder for download dash pdf which is the format that we have the tables once after we click on the print option and that want to create the PDF. So this is the format for this. And next we have the layouts folder. We have where we have the master. That means that all the scripts, all the headers that I needed, I included. And I also passed this zeal, uh, my content to it. If you guys are not sure what these functions are doing, what these helper functions are doing in Laravel, watch my video on uh, of my Laravel crash course. And that's where you can understand. So basically we want to extend our layout. So I go to the pages. And this is the page that you see uses .php. very basic bootstrap stuff here i created a very basic nav bar and you can easily grab this nav, nav bar from the bootstrap and down here we have our very basic uh, very basic model for the bootstrap so you can also easily get from the bootstrap we i passed the ids because we are um, we are inserting the data using ajax so all you need to do is to assign the names and the ids inside the form and go down here and this is how all the functionalities are going to do so i pass the save underscore user class uh, to my button so there you see so i pass this um, class of the button inside my form and once i click on this form so we pass the event and once we click on this save underscore user class and now we get all the values from it using jquery so dot well will grab all the values that we type and now we have our ajax request which is a save underscore user so we pass all the data inside it and if the data is successful so that one is console log success otherwise it want to show us errors all right so all you guys need to do is to go to this route let's suppose i want to go to the save underscore user so i need to go to my routes web.php and that's where i have assigned save underscore user the name of the controller in my case is user controller and the name of the method is save underscore user so all i need to do is to go inside my app http controllers and you see here we have user controller i go to my user controller the first function which is the public function uh, return view i don't need that stuff so i just want to remove this so this is basically 
uh, we are loading the page of users from the page we have the folder with the name of pages and users all the view we are return using this and next we have the ajax request as i explained save underscore user we pass we create a new object with the name of user the model uh, and uh, we, the, this is the request for the first name last name email and phone and we have the function in um, eloquent function in our in laravel if the users are safe that want to give us the response and as a success so data submitted successfully and on the other case if data doesn't sub submit it so it want to show us some error and down here uh, we have other functions but first I want to show you um, this whole save user function all right so the next thing I've sh I want to show you guys you see there down we have called two functions the total users and the get users list so get user list first we go to the get user list function so all the table that I have defined, I created a function get, get user list. I pass the type as a get request. We pass the URL, which is a user fetch list. So I need to go to this URL, and that's definitely I pass inside my as a get request inside my route. And I go to this function. We pass all the user. We get all the users using eloquent all method, and we encode this. So JSON underscore encode will basically grab all the results all the user data and encode it into our um, and, and basically encode to our ajax so we convert our uh, so we convert our response into json dot parse and that want to convert into the javascript object and uh, so then we have cat underscore data this is the id that we pass where we want to show the table on top if I go to, yeah, this is the div for the uh, where we want to show our table. So get underscore data. And next we have is we append all the table. Append means that whatever we need to show on our HTML, we append to it and pass the ID so that we can show the table where we have gave this ID. And down here we have response, all the response which is coming from uh, which is coming from our controller we parse it and we show and look through it using the for each higher order javascript function and we pass the index value and that, that index will get the id first name last name email and the phone all the columns that we have all right so the, and the reason why i call this function inside it so we don't need to refresh our page and that will easily once we once we insert any data it, without any refreshing we can easily insert to it so next we have total users same thing i have i have passed the total underscore user as a url we again pass the response from the controller which is coming here so we i i just want all the users and encode it and that will count using the response dot length whatever the response that we have it will count the length through it and will show the result using total underscore users that's the class that i have passed it inside my div all right so that's i believe most of the stuff that i've done for my first section the last thing that i want to show you guys how i have done this pdf very simple all you need to do if i just simply find my pdf i give the route href route pdf and once you click on this route that will go to this uh, that will pass through the route and inside the function for the pdf it will grab all the result as an array and pass the and and basically pdf load view is the format that we have used we have installed some commands i want to give the, those links as well in the description so you can also type those two commands in order to run this whole project then i also give the storage because i want to store my document inside the storage folder i also include my use pdf i also use the use pdf i also include the illuminate sport facade storage in order to store it we give the path of this and we will give get the output simply and then download it you see once i just click on it it will also download it so that's really much the whole stuff is been implementing on it so i believe most of the stuff is very simple and you already guys are familiar about it and if you have any queries on it if you want to learn more and if you have any issues you can give me a comment comments on my uh, YouTube channel as well as support us on our Facebook page. So that's really much it guys. I love you a lot Everyone take care and stay at home and I want to see you in the next section